So what I was talking about was using uh, flow chemistry and microfluidic devices to um, synthesize what we call radiopharmaceuticals. So these are imaging drugs that are injected into people and then allow them to be imaged for diagnosis of disease. So the technology, um, you need to do this stuff on a, a hospital site, so at the patient point, well, or a building next door. And in order to do that, you really want nice, simple chemical processes because you don't want a complex set of laboratories. So our technology is really to try and facilitate this and to widen the scope of the types of imaging agents that can be used in the patients and improve disease diagnosis. The key thing here is that um, for radiopharmaceuticals, you're really rather limited in the number of radiopharmaceuticals that are available to diagnose disease in patients. A lot of that's to do with the process of producing them and the complexity of that. So whilst uh, the standard molecule for positron emission tomography, FDG, is really good, it's radio-labeled sugar, it shows lots of metabolism, there's lots of other things clinicians might want to learn about the disease. And what we want to do is really provide the facilitating technology. You need to do chemical synthesis close to patients. You need to then validate that this is pure enough to go into the patients. So miniaturized, flow efficient technologies to do that are really what's required. So this is, this is what we're designing and we're trying to make it simple enough so that it can be operated with the high effectiveness in the clinical environment. So there's, there's quite a few challenges, and I, I've probably alluded to some of them in my previous answers, but really, you, you know, you're doing something on a hospital site that is drug synthesis, and you've got to make sure that what you inject into the patient is of a sufficient standard. And then, you know, there, there's more practical things. That there's cost and there's infrastructure to be able to do this. So we, we really wanted to tackle all of these things at once. So rather than just um, designing something that actually could carry out this process, we wanted to make sure that it would fit into the environment. So we engaged with the, the radio pharmacists that carry out these processes and we wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to be so expensive it was going to be prohibitive. So really doing it's half the challenge, making sure you can do it effectively in that environment and at the right cost point is uh, uh, an additional set of challenges.